Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today, I mean this package has probably seen better days, but I'm going to unbox the Dell Pro Micro. All right everyone, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me a lot. And you'll be reminded that every single week I do post new tech unboxing, reviews, and so much more. So let's dive into it. As I mentioned in the intro, this box has seen better days. There are so many different labels. I think it's been shipped all over the world and Dell managed to ship one to me. I don't know what I'm expecting. I don't think your box is gonna show up like this, but let's see. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. I actually missed this device at the Dell World this year in May. I did not see it on the show floor, but it absolutely was there. The sticker proves that it was there. So let's see what we're getting our hands into here. All right, we'll start. We got a bag. <laughs> we got another bag. Let's take a look here. Okay, here is a PC. Look how small it is. Let's just see what else is in the box here. All right, well, we have no power cable. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, no power cable. Let's open this up. Again, this most likely, I will do some research, will come with a power cable, but wow, this is a really, really slim device. Back in the day, I did do a quick review on the Dell Precision Micro or Compact, and it was probably double or triple the size of this. This is extremely slim. I wonder what the specs are. Kind of makes me feel like it's like the size of a CD display. We're gonna plug it into a monitor. We're gonna check it out. We'll check out the ports here on the back and I'll walk you through all of these pretty seamlessly. There is a power adapter that I don't think I have. We will see. Before we continue on with the review, I wanna thank our sponsor today, Kinstead. Now, a couple years back, I decided to take on the migration of my WordPress site. Now, I did not realize that it would be super stressful that my site was down for 48 hours, I'm not sure if you remember that, and it was a complete nightmare to manage and get it back up. Now thanks to Kinsta, if you are looking to migrate your WordPress site over, they completely take care of that for you, even with the base model package. Now, if I would have known about Kinsta before, I would have saved a lot of head headache trying to become a system admin all by myself without any 24 hour support from Kinsta. Now, if your business relies on a WordPress Kinsta is a managed hosting provider worth looking into with over 300 CDN locations, edge caching and a built in speed and security features. They've designed hosting that performs worldwide and their dashboard super intuitive. You can view real time activity, bandwidth, resource use usage, unique visits and CDN stats all in one place. You can even get the first month all free. Now, if you want to click more down on my link below or even scanning this QR code, if you're on your desktop, you can learn more. And now let's get back to the video. Please ignore how messy my desk is right now because I judge some people's offices over on TikTok and Instagram. Now, anyways, the Dell Pro Micro is built for professionals who need powerful desktops in places where space is extremely limited, like my desk as an example. It's one of Dell's most compact business PCs, but it's designed to blend into any workspace. This system is ideal for hybrid workers who want a clean desk setup, schools that need reliable PCs and labs, or enterprises rolling out hundreds of devices in tight office environments. Dell has created a range of accessories to make deployment flexible. You can mount it behind a monitor, under a desk, or even use the optimal stand to keep it upright 
on your workspace. Because it's so small and discreet, it's perfect for conference rooms or digital signage as well. What stands out to me is that you don't have to sacrifice performance for size. It's still powered by Intel's latest processors and enterprise level manageability. Now the Dell Pro Micro makes sense anywhere you need a professional computing power to do so. Now you just saw I unplugged my Dell Precision and went ahead and plugged in the Dell Micro and just like that it used the same power supply. Yes, it does have some marketing branding because like I mentioned in the unboxing, we discussed that this little device has been on the road showcasing to our customers. So please ignore the background there and the quiz or whatever have you. So I'm just setting up the system, making sure that the display works, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the technical specs of this computer. I really wanna see, is there Bluetooth involved? Do I need to connect a, a keyboard and a mouse? Things like that. And then let's take a look at the specs here in the video. So I'm gonna share my screen in a minute and you'll be able to see that. As you can tell, I'm trying to get my mouse connected so I can quickly get this done for you. Let's go to that. Like I said, under the hood, the Dell Pro Micro runs on Intel's latest core ultra processors, giving you a strong performance for multitasking and productivity. It's gonna support up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, which means another smooth performance for demanding office apps or running multiple workloads at once. Storage is flexible too with dual M2 SSD slots, so you can scale up capacity or run faster drives in tandem. For graphics, it's only going to rely on integrated graphics due to the size of this little machine but this is not built for heavy gaming 3d rendering or anything like that think powerful office work now let's get into a little bit of a close-up of the system i'm also going to walk you through the ports and what is packed into this machine but look how slim it is and the fan there you can see right at the top it is quite something. So I'm gonna to get to a little picture here that I like to include in all of my videos. Coming in at number one, which you're gonna see in a second, is the power button, standard power button. Number two, you're gonna have your global headset jack, which I don't know if anyone is still using. Number three is your USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port. Number four is your USB uh, 3.2 Gen 2. Uh, that's 10 gigabits per second type C port. Number five is your optional wireless antenna. So you saw that I showed you the screw in the back there. Number six is the RJ45 ethernet port and you will have some optional modules. So you'll have an HDMI option, display port, VGA, or even USB type C with display port alt mode up to five 1,120 by 3,200 at 60 hertz and power delivery in up to 100 watts. So you'll have a couple other options. You can add a serial port for those legacy users. Maybe you're on a manufacturing floor. Number eight is gonna be two USBs. And number nine is going to be USB 3.2 with smart power on. Number 10 is your USB 3.2. Number 11 is your Kensington security cable slot and padlock ring. Number 12 is HDMI. 13 is display port. And 14 is your power cord connector port, which I did not receive in this video. All right, thank you so much for watching. Now, if you like this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button, go ahead and like, and share this with someone. And if you wanna see me review more small desktops by Dell, feel free to comment down below. I love hearing from you. And lastly, I do wanna thank our sponsor today, Kinsta. Go ahead and click on the link down below or the comments. 
I want to thank them for this video and thank you for continuing to support me throughout this YouTube journey. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.